Just as each individual's personality and abilities are unique, so are the nerve pathways in the brain. We asked Dr. Jason Muir of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach to explain neurodiagnostic technology. The neurodiagnostics are tests designed to evaluate the function of the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. So the test um, would evaluate either the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves, or the muscles. We asked Dr. Muir what the benefits are. The benefits are, are for diagnosis uh, for the most part. These aren't therapies. They are to evaluate you know, what the problem is and then we can hopefully identify a cause and, and hopefully figure out some sort of treatment for that. What determines which patient needs this technology? The tests would depend on what the patient's either problem is or what the expected diagnosis is. If we're looking at the brain function, then we do something called an EEG, an electroencephalogram. So that looks at the uh, brain waves uh, to evaluate function of the brain. Um, there, are, there would be other tests also, depending on if you want to look at the nerves or the muscles. That would be called an EMG and a nerve conduction study. So that would either depend on if it's your arms or your legs, and it would look at the function of those. If we're talking about EEGs, that would be the most common test performed there. Uh, it would be looking for seizures, or the patients are having, say, episodes that might be confusion from a seizure. Other conditions, such as multiple sclerosis, would be one where there's other testing which you try and use to help you secure that diagnosis because that would be a diagnosis that presents in so many different ways where you need more information. So for that type of diagnosis, we tend to offer something called evoked potentials. And those uh, would be a different type of test, similar idea to an EEG with the testing the function. But those type of tests would look at, say, the function of your eyes or your hearing or other sorts of senses. Dr. Muir told us who performs these tests. Depending on the EEG is usually a technician. Um, here they're all board trained or certified um, in electrodiagnostic testing as technicians. And then it's evaluated by either a board certified or eligible um, neurologist and neurophysiologist. The way I look at the tests, and I think most physicians would, that this is an extension of the physical exam and the history. So that your doctor who ordered these tests would then take your history, what he knows about your physical exam, and then the interpretation of these tests, put it all together, and come up with his list of what he thinks your conditions could be or what your condition is. Um, so it would really be the person who desired you know, this evaluation who's going to make this final you know, uh, sort of representation to you of what the diagnosis is.